What's up guys, my name is Joe and today I wanna to show you my luxury sneakers. Now I moved to LA uh, in January, so what's, what is the date today? Almost August, seven months ago. Yeah, so seven months ago, uh, I came to LA, I think with probably three or four pairs of shoes and now I've got somewhere in the 30s, so I have seriously gone into shoes, uh, starting a little bit from before I moved to LA, but especially since I got here. And I just wanted to show you guys kind of the collection that I've been building myself. When it comes to my personal style, I like both ends of the spectrum. I like the cleaner, classic looks, and I also like the more streetwear, more grungy looks. So you're gonna see in my list, I've kind of sectioned it out. So I'm starting with the cleaner silhouettes, and then I'm gonna move to the more street, silhouettes and I've got a couple hype pairs in there as well but I've got 10 sneakers so uh, for the b-roll I wanted to show you guys all these shoes on foot um, but it was going to take way too long for me to change into 10 different outfits so I wore the same green pants white shirt and black socks for every outfit whether the shoes necessarily went with that look or not but I think most shoes worked with this outfit well we've got 10 sneakers to get through I don't want to take up any more time let's go ahead and start with the pair of shoes that got me into the luxury sneaker scene in the first place and that are these right here, the Axel Arigato Clean 90s. I think this is a fantastic place to start when you're starting to get into the luxury game. Uh, for me, you know, I wanted something that was gonna be super versatile and pretty much be able to go with, uh, you know, almost everything that I've got and just a classic white pair, especially this kind of silhouette right here. This works with so many shoes. I mean, so many outfits. I forgot to say as well, uh, luxury means something a little different to everyone. If you're talking to sneaker heads, you're probably talking, you know, way up there. If you're talking to normal guys, it's gonna be a little lower. So the price range we're dealing with here today, I think the cheapest sneaker is around $140. The most expensive is $350. And so, you know, I don't have any like Balenciagas, off-whites, things like that. That's like, that's that's super hype. I'm not really into it. So these right here, the uh, Axel Argatos, these go for $245 and a full leather upper, high quality leather as well, and also a really high quality rubber sole at the bottom. But yeah, you know, you, you, you can always see like luxury sneakers on the internet and you don't really understand maybe the hype or the reason why they cost so much. Once you get a pair in hand, like I did, I start to understand, you know, the, the creases when you walk in these, they just look more natural, they look more refined. The more you walk in them, the better they get and the better they look. Uh, whereas cheaper sneakers, they kind of just start to deteriorate and fall apart. So yeah, Axel Argato, clean 90s, love the Silhouette. Thank you, Axel, for getting me into the sneaker, the luxury sneaker game. Let's check out pair number two. I'm gonna have all these shoes linked down below. Uh, if they are in stock, you can check it out down below. Moving on to pair number two, probably, definitely one of my favorite premium pairs, one of my favorite luxury sneakers, well, sneakers, they're more like, I don't know, a weird boot hybrid, uh, but they are these right here. The Tacoma 2 Voids, this is by We Are Underdogs, a brand based in Portugal. They work with up and coming, aspiring designers, shoe designers from around the world, and the, the designers get to basically make their dream shoe with We Are Underdogs. I love the concept. I love that you get a different silhouette each time. And so when I saw these uh, on their website, I was like, man, these look so futuristic. There's a little bit of Chelsea boot inspiration uh, that goes into the silhouette, but it looks just like a really modern take on the Chelsea boot. Once again, we've got a full leather upper. I think they've called this a rubber nubuck material. Nubuck is a kind of leather. Super clean, completely black. Um, just, you know, total lack of contrast, which is what they were going for. These go for $179, which in my opinion, for the quality that you're getting is an absolute steal. These easily rival some of my uh, other luxury sneakers that are way more expensive, but for a fraction of the price. And guys, this is the moment. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I'm excited to announce something that I've been wanting to announce for a little while. I am coming out with my own sneaker with We Are Underdogs. We're doing a collaboration. It feels crazy actually saying it out loud. I've been in works with them for, you know, not too long, probably like a month and a half at this point. Basically, I'm not gonna take up too much time with this right now. I'm just really excited about this project. And uh, basically, so what happened is when I saw these online, I bought this pair myself. I put up a post on Instagram, this post right here, and I gave them a really good shout out because I really liked what the brand did. I love how they work, which is independent designers who don't have the means to make the shoes themselves, but they've got the talent. So we are under dogs they saw that post and they wanted to make a sneaker with me and I was so honored to have that privilege especially since I've been really into sneakers like I've been saying so super exciting they put me in touch with this awesome shoe designer in uh, Canada 
His name is Julius. You can check him out on Instagram as well. We've spent many days at this point designing and coming up with the concept. I can tell you right now they're going to be called the Meraki Ones, the Meraki One Collection. Meraki, Greek word, it means something you put so much work into, it's like you've left a piece of your soul in your work. It's something I tied to the original product from our hair product brand, and it's something I'm carrying over into um, these, these shoes that I'm making. So without taking up too much more time, you can see some of the process here, some of the behind the scenes of the concepts we were coming with. At the end of the day, before showing you the final result of what we have, uh, just think along the clean silhouette, but with some streetwear vibes to it. That's all I'm gonna say for now. But yeah, these are the Coma 2 Voids. I love them. I will say, big pain in the butt to actually put on your feet due to this lacing system. It's, it's actually quite challenging, but they look great once you get them on. Right, another thing I forgot to say at the beginning of this video is four of the shoes on this list have been gifted to me by a couple different brands. They let me pick whatever shoe I want from their website, and I, there's no requirement for them to feature them or anything, but these are one of those. So these right here are from a brand called PS821. I, I picked these out myself. These are limited. The specific pair is limited uh, to 315 pairs. I'm not sure which one I have. It just says uh, limited one out of 315. I'm still continuing with the cleaner looking silhouettes at the moment. I think clean silhouettes are a great choice because they just, like I said, they go with so many different things. What makes this a little special are the um, design elements on the upper here. So a lot of this leather is actually disconnected to the shoe and is held together thanks to the lacing that connects the two sides together. It just adds for a little bit of depth to something that is otherwise a really clean silhouette. Yes, Rio, okay, I will let you out. And these shoes from PS821 go for $295. So pretty pricey, again, we're talking about luxury sneakers. These are some high quality kicks. By the way, also quick shout out to Crossover Culture. They gave me, um, actually here, let me show you real quick. These aren't on the list, but this is another uh, fairly newish brand. Uh, they gave me, Crossover Culture, they gave me this cool hoodie that I'm wearing and these really cool basketball sneakers with these neon hits of color. They look sick, they look different. They're not on the list, but shout out to Crossover Culture. If you're into basketball, if you're looking for some kicks, um, from you know a smaller brand that are still doing a great job check out crossover culture anyways next up We've got two pairs of shoes from the same brand both of these were gifted and this is a brand called p448 again Clean silhouette right here. These are the P4481 F Loft. Uh, these go for 285. Nice and simple upper with a pop of color on the sole. This red, vibrant red, it actually goes well with a lot of different outfits. I thought it'd be a little bit harder for me to match, but I really haven't had too much trouble matching this shoe with some cool looks. The upper is a really nice, soft suede. Full suede upper and this kind of grayish tan look and cool little detail, which you probably can't see that well, but the inside has this like shiny foil uh, lining. It just makes it Feel a little bit more special. And then from the same brand, the P448, we've got these. These are high tops. These are the Star 2.0 White Crack. Great name. These go for $298. These, I'm pretty sure, you know, these are probably the most comfortable pair of sneakers on this list. They are so soft all over, but especially on the inside, whatever padding they have going on, it's some good stuff, let me just say. Wait, what? I thought these laces were a, like a blue checkered pattern, but they're black. It's so weird, it's the first time I've noticed. That makes them even more wearable. So I know that they're utilizing different suede and leathers. I'm not quite sure what they've done here with this texture, but it feels like it's a seriously unique texture going on the outer, the white crack as they call it. High quality stuff, I think they look really unique, but it's a nice clean colorway so you can still rock it with a lot of outfits. Check these guys out. Again, all of these will be linked down below. All right, so that wraps it up for the cleaner looking silhouettes. Those are for my more kind of, you know, modern looking, cleaner looking, classic looking fits. Now we're moving on to some more like proper sneakers, some streetwear stuff and some hype stuff as well. Starting out with a pair of shoes that just recently dropped this week. Boom, check these out. I really, really like these. These are the Air Force One type pink, what are they, type? Pink tint, Air Force One type pink tint. Tint. Pink tint, I'm guessing is that bit right there. That's the only pink I see on it. The reason why the cutaways for this shoe are in a different place is because um, I got this shoe after I filmed all the rest of the cutaways. Now at a price point of $140, these are probably not really classified as premium uh, or luxury, but you know, I wanted to show you guys these anyways because I really, really like them. I don't normally like Air Force Ones. In fact, I've never owned a pair of Air Force Ones in the past, but I really like the deconstructed shoe trend 
at the minute. Um, I don't know if we want to call it a trend or just like, you know, part of the future, but little things that make a shoe look more handmade, like the, um, you know, the handwritten details here, this extra, you have to forgive my shoe terminology because I'm still learning, but this stripe right here that goes on the front that wraps around the sole, it looks like it's just been stitched on, you know, handmade style. Now, once you get into a price point of $140, you can tell, like I can tell that the quality of leather is not really up to par with a lot of the other shoes I've shown you previously. But what I really like about Nike, at least what they're doing right now, are the little details that you're just not seeing on a lot of other silhouettes. So for that reason, even though maybe it's not the highest quality leather, I think it's a fantastic shoe. There was the white pair of these that came out. I think they were called the, the White Summits. Um, those sold out pretty much immediately on sneakers. For some reason, maybe there's more of these black ones, but there's quite a lot of black pairs left or quite a lot of sizes left in these black pair still on the sneakers app so if you guys want to check that out down below one two three four pairs left moving right along we've got these from a brand called arc copenhagen i found out about this brand from the first sneaker video i made i haven't made many sneaker videos in fact i may have only made like two but the first one i made someone in the comments left a recommendation for me to check out this brand i'm glad you did because now i own like i think four of their pairs these are the arc carpent these are the Arc Copenhagen, oh gosh, I'm never gonna get this name. These are the Arc Copenhagen Berkton Suede W13 Triple Burlwood, Burlwoods, it's not, it's not happened, it's far too long. Basically, these are a pair of sneakers, all right, from Arc, and uh, this was also a gifted pair. These go for $170. It's the Triple Burlwood colorway. Obviously, you've got a very similar colorway, just in different textures uh, and different materials, which makes it just like, you know, pretty clean and simple. I will say on the website, these shoes actually looked a lot darker in the photos than they do in person. If I were to get these shoes again, I would have gotten these in the gray cloud colorway. Moving on from there to some semi-hype sneakers. These are also some of my favorite pairs right now. So comfortable, so soft, and look so sick in my opinion. These right here, the Fear of God raids with, uh, so Fear of God and Nike collaboration. I was watching an interview with Jerry Lorenzo, who is the designer, the Fear of God designer. He was saying the material he used is like a suede mesh mixture for the upper. I don't know exactly what that means. All I know is that this is buttery soft. Both outside and inside, I've actually seen people on the internet saying that this is um, one of the less comfortable Fear of God Nike collaboration releases. Uh, I have not worn any other Fear of God Nike collabs, but all I can say is these are super comfortable, in my opinion. They, they just, they, I can wear them all day long. I also love the lacing system. I know some people are like, oh, it takes too long to put on. No, I don't care. I like little details. I like things that are different, okay? So I love something that just makes you kind of do a double take. That's, that's some of the story that I'm putting into my own shoes that I'm making with We Are Underdogs. Taking, you know, something classic looking and adding a twist that makes you go, hmm, interesting. And I think, they did a good job with that, with this, because the colorway is super simple. If you haven't noticed, I quite like simple colorways because then I can just mix and match really easily. So I like to rely on the design of the silhouette more than crazy colorways. I think they killed it with this one. The silhouette looks recognizable. It looks like, you know, it looks comfortable, but it still looks futuristic. It looks different. Clean colorway. I can rock it with a bunch of stuff. Excellent job, Jerry Lorenzo with the Fear of God Braids. All right, well, we got two more pairs. This next one, definitely a hype sneaker definitely used to be more of a hype sneaker than it is today and definitely one that everyone knows about and probably doesn't care too much about anymore that's these right here the yeezy 350s v2 these are the blue tint colorway i'm gonna be honest right now before yeezy mafia comes after me there's there's a chance these are fake i'm not exactly i'm not 100 percent sure and i've even shown it to some people who say they know yeezys really well and even they can't tell. But basically, long story short is I bought these bef you know, before I really had a good understanding of how sneaker buying works. Uh, I bought these off eBay in the UK for like $180, like something like that, when really these on StockX, they're going, I don't know, something like $350, $400. On eBay, they said they were StockX verified. When they came in the post, the StockX uh, tab that's supposed to be around the heel was just loose in the box. So, you know, I don't know, there's some fishy stuff. I got it for a good steal. Um, that said, if they are fakes, they've been done very well. I'm sure a number of you guys are gonna just let me know right away in the comments. You're gonna be like, yep, they're fake. No question about it, but hey, they don't look fake. A lot of my friends who know Yeezys, they say they can't tell either. I will say when Rio was a puppy, he used this as a chew toy without me knowing about it which is a bit of a bummer, but whatever. 
I don't actually wear these that often anyways. And finally, guy, the 10th, finally, finally, guy. And finally, guys, the 10th sneaker on the list. These are kind of crazy, a little bit out there. Again, I'm relying on the design over the colorway. I like to keep my colorway nice and simple. I like to experiment with my design. These are the Y3 Casabarus. Casabaru. Casabarus. The Y3 Casabarus. Y3 is a collaboration between designer Yohi Yahamoto and Adidas. They make kind of futuristic looking athleisure wear. When I saw these, I was like, man, these are kind of crazy. I call them my space boots. And you know, if I'm gonna put these on, I know that I have to step it up with my outfit that day. These are obviously not for everyone. They look kind of crazy. And uh, this upper is like some kind of canvasy material. It kind of reminds Reminds me of like a tent, but it's definitely thicker than normal tent material. I'm not sure exactly what it is. You got a little bit of suede accents going around the side of the silhouette. Yohi Yamoto's uh, name is in the front toe cap. Is that what you call it? Is that a toe cap? I don't know, man. I will say the lacing system is interesting. They've got like these rubberized pieces of rope, uh, rubber rope, all right? Just a rubber, rubber thing going to the bottom. And it, it feels kind of weird when you're tightening, but all in all, it's a pretty comfortable shoe and it looks sick with the right streetwear outfit. Oh yeah, and these go for $350. Um, I found them on Amazon for $250 and these are real, they're not fake. Uh, and actually that same Amazon link I checked, they're go they've gone down to $170. So some serious money off. If you guys like them, you wanna check them out, I'll leave it down below. With that said guys, I wanna give a special shout out to We Are Underdogs. I love what they are doing as a brand. I love some of the designs and the silhouettes that they're coming out with, working with design from around the world and the fact that they're giving me the opportunity to come out with the Meraki One collection. It's gonna be one shoe, three different colorways. I'm so excited to actually share this with you. Definitely check me out on Instagram to stay up to date. Uh, that's where I'm gonna be sharing some more behind the scenes and some more updates if you guys are interested. Um, so yes, check out We Are Underdogs down below. I've got all the sneakers down there. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see everybody next time.